FAMU beat Jackson State 28 to 10 in today's Orange Blossom Classic football game. This weekend has been packed with events celebrating historically black colleges and universities. But as CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner tells us, it's more than just a game. The Orange Blossom Classic is about so much more than what happens on this field. The game is supposed to emphasize the importance of HBCUs, but the impact it has on the local economy and small businesses is huge. Randall Floyd, or... My DJ name is DJ Nasty, 305. Is 305 born and raised and Florida Memorial University proud? Being a product of an HBCU is, is just a great feeling. From the DJ to the food vendors. I'm a graduate, I gotta say, of Florida Memorial University. Go, 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 Lions. These local businesses are benefiting from the Orange Blossom Classic, but they're also here to show the younger generation attending the game. When I get to see the younger generation in the young world, they look for little guys like me. A lot of times growing up, I didn't see a lot of black business owners, so seeing us in the community doing our thing, having events like this, so we can have that exposure. They can be business owners too. We are very intentional with supporting our small business. We put out a directory of small businesses that people can, patron, can patronize while they're here in town. Executive Director of Orange Blossom Classic, Kendra Bullock, said since 2021, this game has had a $31 million impact on the local community. This year, for 2023, we're expecting to bring in about, I'm sorry, about 16 million. She said this classic celebrates the history of HBCUs and their ongoing importance. They were started during a time of segregation and it gave us an opportunity to achieve in education, um, just like our counterparts. And today it's important because they are those schools that have just as much impact, they have just as much significance as our other institutions. Institutions, she said kids attending the game will be inspired to go to. When I was growing up, I had the opportunity to experience homecomings, I had the opportunity to experience classics, and that's typically what sparks the younger generation's interest. So you're, you know, you're, whatever it is that you're exposed to, that's typically what you gravitate to. One of the goals of this game is also to raise scholarships and funds for the schools participating for years to come. At the Hard Rock Stadium, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.